Hey guys, this is Cameron Blagan coming to you with a video on when and how to trim your drone. So trimming, if you do not know, is these little switches down here uh, that surround the uh, controller pads, just like that. And so what those do, you can hear those beeping, um, is change the drone, how the drone uh, is leveled in the air. So if you haven't watched my calibration video, go watch that and it'll teach you how to calibrate your drone. But even with the calibration, there could be some little bit um, of um, anomalies. You know, if one motor spins a little bit slower or some propellers are nicked um, or if there's a little bit of um, a weight difference because of uh, various reasons or where the battery is, any of those things, uh, if the drone is drifting a little bit one direction and it's not sitting straight, uh, then you can use trim. Now, on that note, a drone like this even a DJI drone, uh, just because it is a flying device, will never sit perfectly still in the air. There's always going to be a little bit of drifting. Uh, so that is normal and to be expected. But if it's really drifting and you've already calibrated and it's still just drifting a little bit, you can use trim to fix it. Now, if you do start getting to the very, very end of a trim, uh, which would be these black bars here uh, going all the way to the edge of the screen, then I would recommend calibrating it. And if that doesn't work, uh, contact us and we will get you some help. Uh, but then something else other than the trim is wrong. Uh, but if it, again, if it is just drifting a little bit, you're going to trim. So uh, the little switches here coordinate with uh, the direction these move the drone. So uh, if the if this stick moves the drone to the right, moving this to the right will also keep, move the drone that direction. Um, and there's no throttle one uh, because it's, it's just altitude hold uh, and you can't really calibrate a throttle, but you can calibrate yaw if it's spinning in the air. So, if the drone is drifting to the right, you're going to want to calibrate the opposite direction, which would be this stick, to the left. And you'll hear the tone gets lower the further down you go. And beeps when you're back at the middle. So, we do that. And if the drone is drifting to the left, then we'd want to counteract it by moving it to the right, which would be this way. Now, if the drone is moving forward, again, you're going to want to move this switch backwards. So I'm pushing it backwards. And if, it's if the drone is drifting forwards, you're going to want to push it forwards. Now, this doesn't work in headless mode uh, because it calibrates um, the direction of the drone based on uh, its four quadrants rather than uh, which direction it's facing. And if you do it in headless mode, it will still trim. Uh, but it will get a little bit messed up because it's not trimming how it should. So always trim when you're in normal non-headless mode. Um, and again, if the drone is sitting in the air and it's spinning uh, one direction like this or the other, you can use this yaw trim uh, to fix that. And that's more common uh, to use because the calibration generally gets the drifting down as good as it's going to get. But if there is something off just a little bit, uh, and again, that's most likely because of something wrong with the propellers or how the motors are spinning. Uh, not necessarily something wrong, but just, you know, a little anomalies. Not every drone is made exactly um, perfect. Uh, you're going to want to push that stick out th to counteract it. So if it's spinning to the left, you're going to want to push this yaw uh, trim to the right and vice versa if it's spinning uh, to the right you're going to want to push it left and that will get it to the middle so let's go ahead and get outside and check out how this drone uh, looks and works in the air uh, with trim and we'll get some situations where it is trimmed incorrectly um, and then I will fix it with trim so you can see a real world application of how um, to get your drone correctly trimmed. And again, if you haven't watched my calibration video, check that one out and do that before we go trim outside because that will uh, get the brunt of the work away um, and it will fix any problems that are non-trim related. But what we're going to do is see how the drone moves um, and I'm going to go ahead and set one of these trims really far one direction. You can hear how it gets really high. We're going to take off and then we'll adjust that based on what's happening. So we'll go ahead and follow the drone now. You'll see I take off and it immediately goes to the right. Now, if it's drifting a lot, and you see it's kind of windy, it's pushing it back. If it's drifting a lot like that, you may want to just calibrate. But if it's just drifting a little, you can fix it with trim. So you'll see, we'll trim it back here. And you'll see, now the drone is perfectly hovering. And it is moving that direction because of the wind. But you can see, it is holding perfectly level. Uh, and that's exactly what you want. Now, you know, same thing. If it's starting to spin, you can see the drone is really starting to spin uh, because of that how it's poorly trimmed or because of a factor of the drone. You see it's really spinning to the right. So if I can use this trim here, 
and I'll turn that and it will turn it and you see now the drone has ceased spinning um, and it is holding stable again just blowing a little because of the wind uh, but the trim is holding stable uh, now trim can be used in some situations to get a really cool shot you can trim it really far one direction on the yaw which is what I just did that made it spin and then turn on headless mode which will allow it to get some really panoramic shots and you don't have to fly any different because of headless mode so if you haven't watched our video on headless mode make sure you check that out this has been how to trim your drone when and why thanks for watching and I'll make sure to see you again in another video